Hi everyone, welcome to Cafe Julia, a famous Italian restaurant. Ricky loves Italian. <laughs> wow, the Italian restaurant only opens at 7. So you can come to the beach and have a bit of a walk around, build up an appetite. Thank you. You're welcome. Classic Italian breadsticks and their bread selection that's baked in house with an olive tapenade. Can it get more Italian than this? No, no, it can't. I'm so excited for this. My shirt's a little crumpled, so they said they would actually press it for me. Yes. In one minute, let's see. Put the timer on. <laughs> <laughs> Ricky knows how this stuff works. I do. You've got the olive tapenade, and that's great. But you've also got this. Why don't you just spritz it on? Do some of that. Trust me on this. I'm an expert at Italian food. Ricky is practically Italian. Uh huh. Oh. oh. Get into your tapenade. tapenade. Not too much because it's quite strong. Mm. That will ruin your appetite for sure. Uh, Less than a minute. There we go. Look at that. Uh -huh. Wow. Thank you so much. Uh, that is amazing. It's a total linen. With spinach and with creamy mushroom sauce. Okay, great, thank you. No, no, this one, yeah? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers, guys. Welcome to Cafe Julia. So pink. It's a frozen drink. It's actually frozen. I can't suck it through the straw. Give it a sip. Somehow, oh. somehow it suits oh. you. Does it? <laughs> but it tastes like it's so creamy and pineapple. Cream and pineapple. How is that? Well, a I thing? don't know. Oh man, it's so good, Rick. You gotta try some. <laughs> oh man, Italian breadsticks. Can't remember if you're supposed to dip them or not. You can do whatever you want with them. Kenny here is preparing the burrata salad. There's my cheese, the burrata. Then I put some salt, some pepper. To put my lechuga also. The salt. And guess what that is? <laughs> yeah. Olive oil. <laughs> Olive oil. Yeah. <laughs> From Venice, yeah. Copa. Copa. Copa, yeah. There's the copa. Yeah. That knife must be so sharp. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, we're sharp, son. Oh, we are in a professional kitchen after all. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> that is beautifully marbled meat. Yes, thank you, sir. Oh, look at that. These are micro greens. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Oh, and little toasties on top. Parmesan, what are they called? Parmesan chip. Yeah, chips, yeah. Like and he said I was allowed to try some, so I am. <laughs> some decorations. So. Wow, yeah. how awesome is that? Yeah. What a salad. And the man who made it, Kenny himself. Yeah, Thank you, Kenny. Oh, and this one's for me to try. Yeah, for you, you can try. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Have a look at this idea. He's put it on the actual cheese. Uh huh, uh huh. Oh man, this is it. Oh, oh wow, that is such good meat. Oh my word, this just in. All this bread and even these breadsticks are baked in house. I can't tell you how. Look at that. They are gorgeous. Wow, this is the bakery. Actually, an in house bakery. They actually made all that bread and those breadsticks, which are amazing. And I've eaten breadsticks in Italy. This is Bacalao's fritos. You guys make such beautiful food here. Yeah. Thank you very much, sir. The starters have arrived. Obviously, the Bacalao salad that we saw, and then the beautiful something else, which I can't remember the name of. <laughs> and the olives. Oh, this is so amazing, guys. This is actually burrata salad. Burrata is like uh, the essence of mozzarella, but cheesier. It's like the inside of mozzarella. It, it just, I am blown away by the service 
and the presentation and the quality of this food. Look at those olives. Look at this. Yeah, exactly. I already know what, what the, the ham tastes like. Jeez, <laughs> Do I'm not you? So sure. <laughs> Did you get a sneak taste? No, no, don't look at the footage from the kitchen. <laughs> so I'm going for one of these. I think it's a cod. It's a cod ball. And tomato. Ooh. With a bit of saladiness around it, but I'm just gonna I'm just gonna try the whole thing. Go for it. Mmm. Well, it's like a cod fish cake. Mmm. Mm. Oh, it's really good. Oh, 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 really good at describing food, am I? No, no, you're not. You're good at eating food. <laughs> yes, we eat food. <laughs> oh man, that is such a good fish ball. <laughs> I might even try some salad with it. <laughs> right, guys, let's get into these cod balls. Oh, soft. It's like got a crispy outside. Oh, I can already smell it. That smells amazing. Stunk that in that tomatoey sauce. Oh. Mmm. Uh huh. Oh, it's light but fishy, and then hints of lemon, Italian spices, and then that gorgeous tomato ness. Mm. Sorry, fork. Need to be able to get that tomato ness. Can only use fingers for this. We are basically monkeys. <laughs> Got to get that on there because that brings that imani sour. Wow. Exquisite. These mammoth Sicilian olives. It's got like a, um, I think it's a little piece of garlic maybe. Mm. Is it good? What is it? That's a totally different flavor. It's not an olive. Wow. Oh, that is nothing like an olive that you've eaten before. Really? Mm. So why do they call them olives? It is an olive, but it's amazing. Oh wow, guys, just have a look at that. They have such beautiful the presentation here. Action. Let's go give that a go. Oh, oh man. Oh. This is like pure cheesy heaven. Straight up. How to describe? Is that the fluffy, fluffy cloud you'd sit on in heaven? Mm, I would, except I'd fall because <laughs> I would eat, eat it all. <laughs> it's like a mozzarella, but not stringy and chewy. It's soft. You know how mozzarella has that chew chewness to it? Yes, yes. Not but there. Then, mm, the flavor. A little bit cheesier than mozzarella. Mm. Mm. Awesome. And then in this beautiful plate of goodness. I think it's called copper, right? I can, oh wow. Oh mouth watering. He hand cut it. Mm. Suddenly went into focus. Oh. Mm. Italian cold meats. Oh wow. Intense. I could eat a bowl of that but I couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> It feels like there's a, a chili note somewhere. Oh, yeah, look at this. Oh, yeah, it's, he did sprinkle some like stuff a, on. It's like a spicy paprika. Absolutely phenomenal. If, if you've never eaten something like this, this is amazing. Oh, I see what you mean. <laughs> Soft. It's not mozzarella. No. Mm, it reminds me sort of like goat's cheese. Yes, a little bit. Right, I'm going to go for the meat. Go for it. Because I haven't tried any yet. <laughs> that is the most intense piece of cold yeah, meat I've so ever good. had. It is so, so good. A lovely waitress, Anne, who is a wealth of knowledge of Italian food, you won't believe. She said in the Italian restaurant she used to work in before, you would do the burrata and Sicilian olive. This is apparently the thing. And you, you drink a Chardonnay or something. One blue Chardonnay coming up. It's Italian Chardonnay, that's why it's blue. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, that works. It's the last piece. What do you mean it's the last piece? But I love you. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. That's true love, guys. True, true love. 
back with Kenny. Yes. Red beef stick here. And here we have some polenta. We put down here. We put the star. Oh, wow. The sauce still in the middle. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, man, the skill to pick up round things with tweezers. Yeah. <laughs> and Kenya, it has some beetroot. And the beetroot. Remolata, breadcrumbs, and uh, just some, uh, some lemon and orange flavors. Microgreens. Yeah. And then the most favorite thing. <laughs> oh, topped <laughs> up with parmesan. <laughs> Crisp. How beautiful is that? Oh, he's putting the truffle oil into yeah. the yeah. tortellini. There we are, white truffle oil. Some cream. Cream and what's the mushroom? Mushroom. The wild mushroom. Parmigiano. And Parmigiano. Yeah. Cheese and mushroom. Yeah. Oh wow, look at that. Is it ready? Go with the plating of the tortellini. I'm sure there's going to be lots of greenery on that. Yeah. <laughs> olive crumbles. Olive crumbles. This is actually an olive crumble. Yeah. And of course, on with more parmesan chip. We will see this on the table. But first of all, I just want to thank the guys. You're thank good. you guys so much. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, he's making more. <laughs> I'm not the only one getting it. Oh wow. Well, we have sinashi and uh, mushroom creamy sauce and the braised beef chick accompanied with a polenta. That looks amazing. Thank you, Anne. You know what I love about this place? I was just thinking about it. it the food is absolutely exquisite. Tastes amazing. Even better than it looks. But it's like, and the service is absolutely brilliant. But it's not like pretentious. You know what I mean? It's comfortable. Yes. And you guys have been looking at me all smart and stuff, but let me just show you. <laughs> uh. Yeah, and I really appreciate that, and it kind of surprised me a bit. It's still relaxed and friendly. Love it. it smells of bump. <laughs> Incredible. Oh, I've yeah. heard about braised beef before, but. It's braised beef cheek. Braised beef cheek. Oh, wow. Oh, you can just taste that from the look of it. Oh man. You guys are so lucky you can't smell this. Oh, now you really even more smell. Can you see the inside? You know oh, that that is oh. all the flavor. Oh. Man. Yeah, just take oh. a moment. Uh-huh. Oh, oh no, stop it, stop it. <laughs> My mouth is literally watering. You know what I'm doing, right? What are you doing? I'm cutting myself a piece <laughs> in case I'm Go done with it. this photography stuff. That's like a polenta. It's a polenta, yes. Mm. Oh. <laughs> oh man. Whoa. Oh. Here we go, here we go. <laughs> mm. Oh wow, it was gooey, it was <laughs> soft, and it was so full of flavor. Cheek meat is the best. It is, when oh, you cook wow. it properly. What I really like about this is it isn't overly soft, you know, like the ones that fall apart. Yeah, no, you should still have a little bit of like, I'm chewing something. A little bit chew, but it's not a hard chew. It is definitely, mm. I wouldn't say chew, but I'm going to call it that. It is so good. You got to try some, Rick. I'm going to. Ah, oh, the texture. I know guys, I'm sorry if you don't like me playing with my food, but I love to touch my food because you get to feel the real texture of it. Coated in sauce. Yeah. No. Mm. How does this meal keep getting better and better? I it's don't not know. Possible. That is, I feel like I keep repeating myself. That is absolutely amazing. How is everything we eat better and better? Wow. There's also polenta on the plate, so let's give that a go. 
Run it through the gravy, Rick. It was an accident. <laughs> Lovely, it's buttery. Mm. This is such a happiness food. Oh, Whoa. it's like gooey, sticky, uh, unctuous. That is unctuousness by definition. Wow. <laughs> this is the special of the day. This is the tortellini with spinach and a creamy mushroom sauce. And I must just say, if it tastes anything like what it looks like and smells like, <laughs> Are they getting better, Rick? The pasta is so soft and like perfect. There's no stodginess to it. It just melts in your mouth. I don't know how you do that. There's like practically no chew on it. You're just getting the inside and then mushroom. Like mushroom central. Oh, give one a go. Oh yeah. <laughs> How is it so light? I don't know. <laughs> it just explodes your mouth. Hang on a second. Yeah. <laughs> it's absolutely remarkable. How does it just keep getting better? I don't know. Oh man. It's I'm just going to check because... Really a class of its own. Back to the beef just quickly. How are these such good meals? I don't know. Blown away. <laughs> Have you found friends, Brian? Yeah, they're from Norway. Yeah, oh, amazing. We want to say we want to tell our all our Norwegian friends. Yes. We, are, we met Brian and Ricky. And here, yeah. 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 Hi to everyone watching in Norway. Yeah. So to everyone in Norway, I will be a hero. Will you have a look at what this man is eating? Yeah. What is that? I don't know, don't ask me. <laughs> it's tiramisu, it comes in a jar. Yeah. We're getting an Aperol Spritz. Aperol, and this is the Spritz. It's like a famous, famous Italian cocktail. And as the multitasker <laughs> is not going to make the cocktail. The perfect amount. <laughs> no such thing. This is the hard task. Opening the bottle. Duck everyone. I have faith in Anne. She says, walking backwards. Teamwork! <laughs> Here we go! Oh wow. I've seen these on so many movies. I've never actually had one. Oh, it's going in the glass. Oh wow. Okay. And there you go. Thank you. Enjoy, Rick. I'm driving. I'm driving. Sorry, sweetie. Mm, it smells lovely. <laughs> this is my first Aperol spritzer, and I must say, it is delicious. Like a bitter oranginess with a wine. Yum. That is definitely going on my list of things what I can drink. Bathroom tour. Love the decor. Wow. It's so festive and pretty. Ooh, and a fancy hand dryer. Cafe Joya looks a bit familiar. It's because we were here during the day for an amazing lunch. Check it out, card. Ah, yeah. You've got this awesome like bar top thing, which has all your plugs. Uh-huh. And of course there's Wi-Fi. And loads of parking. Important thing to note if I haven't mentioned it before. If you're staying on uh, all-inclusive at Radisson Blue, yeah. this restaurant is one of your choices. Really? Yeah. That pasta, just between you and me. 
how did you get it? Like with no chew, but not overcooked. It was like so perfect. Not I Best pasta ever. Thank you very much. Well done. Thank you very much. <laughs> so, panna cotta and a cannoli. So, panna cotta and a cannoli. Cannellonis. Cannelloni. Cannellonis. Have a look at the plating. It looks amazing. I wonder what this is. And these. We're going to have to try it The only thing I understand is panna cotta. <laughs> <laughs> Pyramids of Mauritius. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Oh wow. <laughs> Did it get better? Mm. I don't even know how to describe that. So I've got um lamy zest. Yeah. Creamy. And then the the, the, the pastry stuff of the cannelloni is so light and fluffy. These guys are master bakers. Classic Italian thing and they're delicious. Panna cotta. Not sure what the stick is. Soft and light. A little bit sweet. Still not sure what it is. <laughs> panna cotta. My first ever panna cotta. Yeah, Ricky's you've never had, had, it. had it. Ricky's had it before. Oh, it's a little bit denser than I thought it would be. Look at that. Mm. I'm going to try just straight up panna cotta. You with like chip. eating a massive mouthful. With whatever that <laughs> stuff is. It comes together. It's got to be right. It was like a caramel with caramel with things in it. Don't worry, out guys. I'll let you know. <laughs> what do you think of panna cotta? I kind of like it. Also nice and light. It's sort of it is light. It's but like it's a milk of, mousse. That's exactly what it is. Super thick milkshake. A super thick milkshake. <laughs> a milkshake you can eat. It's a milkshake you can eat. That's exactly <laughs> what it is. Panna cotta. It's um sultanas. Yum. And the panna cotta is like an orange zest. It's beautiful. It goes lovely with these because they've got like a almost a marmalade and there's some orange in the sultanas as well. Really nice and really light as a dessert. So, aperitifs, starters, antipasto. Oh wow, this is like so exciting. Salads that sound amazing. Main dishes are just uh, the names are just like with goat meat. Okay, okay, showing my lack of Italian knowledge. Uh, that was primary course, so starters and then primary and now secondary. So then we move on to oh, <laughs> wow, and then I think um, vegetarian. Winging it here, guys. Could still get some, could still get some pizza. Ah, cheese platter. Wow, I've never seen that before. And then the desserts. Cocktails. Oh, those sound amazing. More bottles of wines. And your beers. Right, guys, here you go. Where we are on the east coast in the north. Radisson Blue. There. Make sure you book and then come right in. Oh wow, Cafe Gioia. The best Italian we've eaten so far. And we've eaten in Italy. Well anyway everyone, thanks for watching. See you again next time.